what's poppin sunkin squad as you guys can see from the title today we are going to be making some alcohol labels so today we're going to be doing our beller bottle if you guys did not see my hennessy label make sure you guys go check that out link will be in the description box down below around last year pretty much i did make custom glitter alcohol bottles for my friend's birthday and a lot of people were asking me about the label so i'm like why not make a video for you guys because i was sending it out and honestly it was such a hassle getting everybody's email and all that jazz so i'm like you know what Here's a video for you guys so you guys can create it at home for yourself super duper easy all you really much pretty much need is powerpoint and pretty much i did save a google image um of the logo itself and as you guys can see here i will be pasting it and once you guys drag the corners you guys can see you guys will see numbers pretty much and those numbers just kind of show you the dimensions of the logo pretty much what i actually did is i actually measured the real logo so i can make sure everything is nice and precise so for the height we are going to be making it 7.29 or 7.3 and for the width we are going to be doing 8.08 centimeters and how you can know exactly let's say if you're having trouble doing it this way there's another way you guys can do it as well and i'm going to be showing you guys that too So in case you guys are having trouble, you're just going to hit right click on the image. You're going to hit size and position and you guys will see the dimensions on the right hand side. So basically with that, you'll just hit the arrows if you wanted to adjust it to be exact. Honestly, you'll be completely fine. It's okay if it's a tiny bit bigger and it's okay if it's a tiny bit smaller because at the end of the day, you're going to be covering it with glitter. So now we are going to move on to covering the letters. So what we're going to be doing is inserting some shapes and the shapes are going to be black rectangles. So what we're going to do hit the shapes button hit the square rectangle button and we're going to pretty much size them out to cover the lettering so as you guys can see we're creating our box tapping it and where it says shape fill that's where you are going to hit and you're going to change it to whatever color you like obviously black to match the background so you can cover the fonts same thing we're going to hit outline and make that black as well and that's literally what we're going to be doing so pretty much we're going to be doing this to cover the bel air we're going to be using this to cover the I think it's pronounced luck or luc up there and then at the bottom we're going to be using the same rectangle to cover rare rose and you guys are going to be seeing me do that also just another quick tip if you guys care about the little white specks you guys can just make very tiny squares and cover them i'm personally not going to do that just because this is just like a tutorial for you guys um but that's something you could do if they did bother you Now since we have completed, you know, covering all of the font from before, we're going to do our own. The best font I thought was suitable for this was called Academy Engraved LET. And I'm just going to be putting number 22 at the top because you know your girl's 22. So we're putting that up there to fill that. You guys can put whatever you want. And I'm also going to be filling in just the basic stuff, which is a basic happy birthday. You guys can put whatever you want. As you guys can see, there's another pink line at the bottom. If you don't have enough space to write your full message or whatever the case may be, you can write on top and below, or you can just size it differently. So you don't have to go based off the sizing that I have. When you guys kind of do the template yourself, you guys can kind of see what font size fits better for you, depending on what you wanted to write inside of it. And of course, you're gonna make sure you guys save your file, don't forget, just so you at least have a backup in case you wanted to redo this for somebody else. Honestly, that is the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys want me to make any type of alcohol label in specific, just make sure you guys comment down below. Don't forget, hit that like button, type in a comment, hit that subscribe button with the bell so you know when I post your girl K-Bent, and I'll see you guys in my next video.